hello students welcome back to engineers academy do hit the subscribe button if you are here for the first time now let's solve this problem which says that the corners of the square plate are given the displacement indicated determine the shear strain along the edges of the plate at a and b so we are given this square plate a b c d and the edges or we can say that the corners are given these displacements uh, so we are asked to find the shear strain along the edges of the plate at A and B. So let's say that at A this is our normal axis and this is our tangential axis. So we want to find we want to find the shear strain at A and B. So let's say this is the normal axis at A and this is the tangential axis at A. So we want to find the shear strain at A along the normal and tangential axis. So this will be equal to as we know that initially the angle between N and T is 90 degree right this is a square plate so the angle will be 90 degree and after giving some displacement to these uh, edges or corners the the angle changes and this is the angle after the shear strain. So we want to find the change in angle so if we somehow find this angle after the change let's say this angle is theta dash then we will be able to find the shear strain at point a along the n and tangential axis so as we know that that change will be the initial angle is pi divided by 2 and subtracting the final angle which which we suppose to be theta dash which we say that that angle is theta dash so let's say that after the change the angle is let's say theta dash so we say that this whole angle between the dashed line is let's say theta dash and this angle this angle will be half of theta dash so we can say that this angle is theta dash divided by 2 so from so the change will be you can say that pi divided by 2 minus theta dash will give us the shear strain so we can say that this will be minus theta dash so this will give us the shear strain at point a along the normal and tangential axis let's say that this point is let's say this point is now d dash let's say the displaced point is d dash and let's say this point is a dash so by using and let's say that this point is the center so if we use this triangle a dash d dash o triangle if we use this triangle and if we apply ten theta divided by 2 so we can say ten of theta dash divided by 2 that will be equal to this perpendicular divided by this base so this perpendicular is this 10 inch minus 0 0.3 so 10 inch minus 0 0.3 so we can say 10 minus 0 0.3 divided by this side which will be 10 inch plus 0 0.2 so because the point a moves outwards right so we can say that will be 10 plus 0 0.2 and we can say that theta dash divided by 2 will be equal to 10 inverse of this so we can say 10 inverse of 10 minus 0 0.3 is 9.7 divided by 10.2 and 10 inverse of 9.7 divided by 10.2 this gives us an angle of this is equal to 43.561 degrees and from this we can say that theta dash will be twice of this angle so we can say this answer multiplied by 2 this is equal to 87.121 degrees so this is theta dash and now since this is in radians and we cannot substitute this value directly into this equation we must convert this angle into radians so as we know that 2 pi radians is equal to 360 degrees so we will multiply this with 
2 pi divided by 360 and this gives us theta dash equals to 1.521 degrees oh, sorry radians or we can say 1.5206 radians let's say now putting it into that equation so we will get gamma at a along the n and t is pi divided by 2 minus 1.5206 so we can say that pi divided by 2 minus that answer which is 0 0.0502 radians and if you want to find this shear strain in degrees then we must convert this these units into degrees so we can say that we know that now 2 pi radians is equal to 360 degrees so let's multiply this answer with 360 divided by 2 pi so now gamma a n along the n and t is 2.879 degrees and in radians the angle is 0 0.502 radians so the shear strain at point a in degrees is 2.879 so this will be the shear strain this angle plus this small angle will be the sum of both of these angles will be 2.879 degrees similarly we can find uh, we are asked to find the shear strain along the edges of the plate at b as well so now we, we are going to consider the normal and tangential axis at uh, b or we can say that the edges along point b and this is our normal axis and this is our tangential axis let's say and in again the initial angle is 90 degree this initial angle is 90 degree and the final angle is let's say theta dash so again we can say that uh, gamma at the shear strain at b along the normal and tangential axis will be the initial angle which is pi divided by 2 minus the final angle which is theta dash so we will find again this that theta dash so this will be now theta dash the angle between the dashed line is theta dash and this will be again theta dash divided by 2 now we we are we must say this point is again a dash and this this point is now b dash and this point is o so we must apply uh, tan theta dash divided by 2 to a triangle a dash b dash o so this is the triangle from here considering the dash line right so this will be our triangle to apply tan theta dash divided by 2 so we can say that tan theta dash divided by 2 will be equal to the perpendicular so this will be the perpendicular from o to a dash so from o to a dash is 10 10 inch plus 0 0.2 which is 10.2 so 10.2 divided by the base now this is the base the base is from here to b dash this point so this will be equal to 10 minus 0 0.3 so 10 minus 0 0.3 is 9.7 so 9.7 inches so now we can say that theta dash divided by 2 will be equal to 10 inverse 10.2 divided by 9.7 so if i convert the mode of this uh, calculator into radians we will get the answer directly in radians so let's say if i convert the units into radians for the calculator then we can say that uh, 10 inverse 10.2 divided by 9.7 so theta dash divided by 2 is equal to 0 0.8105 radians multiply this answer with 2 we will get theta dash equals to 1.6210 radians so now putting this theta dash into this equation we, we will be able to find the shear strain at b along the normal and tangential this will be pi divided by 2 minus 
1.6210. So we can say that y divided by 2 minus 1.6210. So this is equal to minus 0 0.0. 0.502 radians. So we got the same shear strain, right? But we got the negative sign. Here we got 0 0.502 radians, but with positive sign here we got the negative sign. Now, what does the negative sign means? The negative sign means that the final angle, which is theta dash, that is greater than 90 degrees. At point A, the angle decreases. As you guys can see, that the initial angle was this, which was 90 degree, and then the this point D moves towards the right, and this point B moves towards the left. So the angle decreases. So this means that theta dash in this case was less than 90 degrees, and theta dash in this case at point B is greater than 90 degrees. So that's why we got the negative sign here, and that's why we got the positive sign here. So this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope this will help you in your learning. Let me know in the comments if this helps. Do subscribe Engineers Academy for the solution of such more problems from the mechanics of materials by RC Hibler.